volume of a frustrum of a cone. Now, the volume of a cone, we're given the formula in the front of the exam paper, in the formula book if you like, and that's the information you're given about the cone. So the bit we want is the pi r squared h. Now, um, a frustrum of a cone is just a big cone with a small cone chopped off the top. So if we just work out the volume of the big cone, the volume of the small cone, then we can work out the bit the, the volume of the frustrum. So we're told that the top third of the cone is cut away. So this part of the cone is two thirds of the whole thing. So this bit here is one third. So if that's um, two thirds is eight, one third is going to be four. And therefore the whole thing is twelve high. But we also need to work out the radius of this small cone and because this is a third of the whole then this radius is going to be um, one third of the whole as well so that's six so this is going to be two so um, the volume of the big cone is going to be one third times pi times r cubed so in r squared times the height which is going to be 8 and 4 which is 12 I'm going to subtract the volume of the small cone which is going to be 1 third times pi times the radius which is 2 squared times the height of the small cone which is 4 put in the calculator in for that we can pretty much type this all into the calculator 1 over 3 times pi times 6 squared times 12, subtract 1 over 3 times pi times 6 squared times, oh, not 6 squared, 2 squared times 4. And that gives us 416 over 3 pi, it's not a very nice uh, value of pi. But if we change it to a decimal, we get 435.6 to one decimal place.